Hi, my name is Dan Fernandez, and today we're going to talk about stretching. There's two types of stretching. You've got dynamic stretching and static stretching. So they're very different, okay? So when you, uh, when you want to warm up, you want to use a dynamic stretch. Well, after your activity or after you run, then you can do a static stretch. So basically, uh, you'll see a lot of footballers doing dynamic stretching, and they'll be doing that movement a lot. So basically, it's a, a lot of springing, springing for your calf muscles, moving backwards and forwards, going up. It's very similar as a warm-up. So that's why you do dynamic stretching before your runs. Static stretching, we do that after the runs. It's like a cool down, okay? And we're gonna go through that routine now. Now, why should we be stretching down and cooling down? And why is it so important? After we do an activity, our muscles are going to grow. So we want to encourage that lengthening, and that increase of motion through the hips and through the muscles. So then they don't become very stiff. Okay. So for how long we do it, do we do the uh, stretching? So for how long are we going to do the stretching? It will very depend on each person and either if they're hypermobile or not and um, how much tension there is in the muscle. So we're going to start with my routine. I like to have like uh, put my foot always on top of something. So you can put it on top of a sidewalk or like a stool. So first thing I want to do is put my foot up, bring my foot up towards me. And then it's all through the hips. So the movement of the hip is bringing my bum out. I want to push my bum out, bring my foot towards me and rotate outwards. And I just hold it there for a couple of seconds. Sometimes it can be five seconds. Sometimes it can be 15 seconds. It really depends how hard I went on my training. So then I go forwards again, and then I go inwards. So I rotate. So I'm focusing on different aspects of my calf muscles and my hamstrings. Okay. And obviously I'll be doing the same thing on the other side. So after I've done my calves and my hamstrings, I want to do my quads. So I try to keep my chest straight, push my foot back and try and keep that balance there. I'm going to do a slight change here is that when I bring up, I want to rotate my foot out so I can feel it more on my adductors. Okay, so more in the medial aspect. And then when I rotate out, keeping those knees always in the same place, I now feel it on my quads. So the motion was first I went up and rotated in, and I felt it through the middle, and then through the lateral. We just hold it for a couple of seconds, okay? So now I'm gonna show you how to do it for, for your shins. So if you just look down here, you want to bring the foot into that position and you basically bend the knee and lunge forwards. And when you're lunging forwards, you can feel that tension on that front of that muscle. Okay, that's it. So we've done the front, the back of your hamstrings and the quads. So now we're going to do the glutes. To do the glutes, we bring the knee up and across you can bring your hand off to the side so you can really feel that stretch like that then bring it back to the center and open like so so now we're stretching your groin and your adductors okay so just hold it there good now we're going to do another exercise stretching for the low back and it's like a squat. So what you want to do, try to have however you feel that your legs are more uh, comfortable for you. Bring your hands on the inside of the knees like that. And you want to stretch as far as you can go. Okay, just very gentle. Now look at this, my elbows or on the inside of the knees, my bum is gonna come back up, and then I'm gonna go back down again. This is a very good stretch for the lower back, 
And we're going to modify this afterwards. Like that. You can do this a couple of times. You want to stay here. You want to bring your left hand to the right foot and then come up. And now you're doing a stretch for the lower back. And then you come back down. You can do it several times on the same place. But for the video, I'm just going to do it once. Now swap hands and rotate towards the upper side, upper side. And come back. Okay? And come back up. Good. Now, do your shoulders. You want to rotate to the side. So we're working the shoulder, the rhomboids. Then you want to go up, working your lats, your triceps. And then your biceps as well. That's good. Now we're going to do the neck. So we go to the side, hold it there for a couple of seconds. Rotate down, push it down. And fully down. Now back up, hold it to the side. Diagonal. And down. Good. Now, if you're at home, you can do an extensive workout, even better than this one. And we're going to do a bit more on the lower back. And you can see that in a different video. Okay? So, thanks for watching. If you have any comments, please leave them below. Any requests as well. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.